morning everyone now we will discuss about soil soil is a natural resource it is one of the most important natural resource like air and water it is must to sustain life on the planet earth so soil is the uppermost layer of the earth crust it is the uppermost and thin layer of the earth crust all the living beings directly or indirectly depend on the soil soil enables the growth of the plant different plants can grow in the soil it is a home of billions of organisms like birds uh, uh, like insects worms reptiles it is a home of billions of organisms and for in the constructions work like for buildings and roads soil is also must so soil which is used to grow plants it is the home of billions of organisms as well as it is must for the construction work formation of soil take place over a long period of time yes it is a long process it is a formation it take place a long period of time it is a long process and slow process and soil is formed by the process of weathering it is formed by the process of weathering weathering of rocks and minerals so weathering of rocks weathering of rock means breaking down of rocks into smaller pieces so breaking down of rocks into smaller pieces is known as the weathering of rocks and these weathering is of three types it is of three types physical weathering chemical weathering and biological weathering physical chemical and biological so physical weathering means when the rocks break down into fine particles over a time and under the influence of forces such as freezing expansion contraction and shrinking and during that process there is no change in the chemical composition of the rocks there is no change in the chemical composition of the rocks only they divided into smaller pieces after that chemical weathering when it is the process of decomposition of rocks due to the chemical reaction so there is a change in the chemical composition of the rocks and this chemical weathering is common in warmer areas where the temperature is high it is common in that areas now biological weathering means it is caused by the bio means life it is caused by the living organisms like your plants micro organisms animals etc and it is mainly reason of biological weathering are plants because plants uh, they will start growing into the uh, cracks of that rocks and when they start growing up the roots of the plants grow and they go deeper and deeper into the rocks in search of food and nutrient in search of water and nutrients and that's why they extend the cracks of the rocks and resulted the rocks break down into finer particles so the soil which is must to for every living organism directly or indirectly which is a habitat of a number of organisms is a must to sustain life on morning everyone now we will discuss about soil erosion and soil conservation soil erosion soil erosion means removal of the upper moss or the top layer of the soil by wind or by running water the top moss layer of the soil is fertile and when by wind or by running water water it remove it is known as soil erosion the main causes of the soil erosion are deforestation overgrazing improper farming and flood so let us discuss one by one deforestation deforestation means cutting down of trees on a large scale when we cut the trees on a large scale this process is known as deforestation and due to deforestation soil becomes loose why right? because roots of the plants hold the soil together when no plants no holding of the soil and the soil is left loose 
and this loose soil is easily blown out by air and water so deforestation is the main reason of soil erosion soil erosion means removal of soil through wind or by running water now next is overgrazing overgrazing means repeated grazing uh, by of the animals can leads to loosening of soil particles when the animals uh, just do the grazing again and again on the same place then the soil becomes loose and this loose soil again easily blown out by air and water improper farming also makes the soil eroded and the flood is also responsible to wash off the soil so the removal of upper layer of the soil the top layer of the soil is known as soil erosion now we can easily prevent the loss of the soil and this process is known as soil conservation yes preventing loss of soil due to erosion is known as soil conservation and we can do this soil conservation through the process of afforestation and through terrace farming afforestation means planting more and more trees afforestation means planting more and more trees as you know the roots of the uh, plants hold the soil firmly so more plants so uh, more roots are there and they will hold the soil and it becomes difficult for the wind or the water to take off the soil along with them so more plants reduce the rate of soil erosion terrace farming terrace farming is mainly done in hilly regions in hilly regions uh, that uh, farming is done by making the series of the steps it is done by making a series of the steps like benches and each step slows down the flow of water each step slows down the flow of water and that's why it also help to reduce the soil erosion so we can reduce the soil erosion through the process of afforestation by planting more and more trees and by doing the terrace farm next is our topic is composition of soil soil is ma uh, made up of four basic components there are four basic components of the soil inorganic minerals air water and organic materials and these organic materials are further divided into three categories humus living organisms and roots so if we will see inorganic materials are present in the soil about 45% air and water present in soil about 25% and organic materials are present in soil about 5% so the base of the soil is mineral